41,615 miles and only about 190 hours on the generator and exceptionally well kept. This Georgie boy right here, this is a diamond in the rough. All right, no nonsense, no staging. First time putting the key in and... All right, just like that. All right, and now a generator test. <laughs> wow, that fired right up. And overall, I'm, I mean, I'm shocked. I am very impressed with the the condition, the care, maintenance, upkeep, everything demonstrated here, cleanliness. You know, it doesn't it doesn't smell like people, it doesn't smell like somebody was poor about flushing out their black tanks or something. The floors are clean. You can see how they put the little covering down on the carpeting up there and your high traffic walkways to keep the footprints off it. This is not actually the first object we've sold for the owners down here uh, at uh, Advantage One RV Brokers. This is, by the way, the consignment division of Haywood RV. This is where we sell RVs on behalf of the owners, um, or horse trailers, cargo trailers, cars, trucks, whatever, you know, whatever it is. And the first one that we sold for them was in similarly good condition. These are just folks who, they just take care of their stuff. I like the seat belts and that big sofa there. I also like how long that sofa is. You can really stretch out and nap out. Now this is a, a classic motorhome design, no slides. And as a result, they had to be really smart with their space efficiency. And uh, one of the things that helps it feel larger, we're gonna take a look here, crack open all these window shades, and you can see there's just coverage beyond coverage here. What's cool is whether you're at uh, your destination or you're traveling, You've just got awesome views, awesome light and visibility all over this living space. It's a very comfortable experience and you can see the windows open for airflow. I also like that full viewing window in the entry door. I think that's great. Of course, seat belts for the little bucket swivel seat right over here. Um, let's take a look up in the cab area. You already saw us turn the key. Now, when I, whenever I get a used RV in, I try to be really fair if I see things that aren't perfect. I try to let you know about that. But the thing is, I had to really get nitpicky on this RV. Like, I've attempted to turn on all the lights. There's like one or two light fixtures that just need a new bulb. Um, there's one or two baggage door holdbacks on the outside that need replaced. These are like 50 cent fixes, ladies and gentlemen. These are little tiny things. There's, there's no significant issues. The dash air is blowing cold. I've had the roof air on. It blows cold. There's actually two roof ACs on this unit, by the way. Everything in this working to just fantastic degree. Uh, you know, all the little indicators, all the switches and bells and whistles and whiz bangs. This is sharp. And you got your old CB radio, buddy. Funny story, before I was the RV nerd, um, I worked at Yellow Transportation, which are those orange semi-trucks that say yellow on them, or at least they were, anyway. But when you're in that business, you have a call sign. Now the funny thing about call signs is you don't usually pick yours. You just get it, it just happens. And one of the good old boys that worked on the dock gave me mine. I was Moses. So I'd get on that fair radio and I'd say go for Mo and they'd let me know the status of the different freight things going on around the uh, facility. So there's a little tidbit about me you didn't know. Probably didn't ever care to know. It's never going to be on Jeopardy. It doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm just yakety yakking over here. Um, <laughs> storage is one of those things that I look at a lot of newer RVs and I go, oh, come on guys, can't you do better than that? Because classic RVs, one thing that they understood when they were designing these very well is the need for good storage. Like if we start right here, you can see, you know, any little nook and cranny and cabinet space they possibly could. They open right up, including some good space, like, uh, you know, under the sink over here, under the stove. They didn't let anything go to waste. And I love that little counter extension, because this RV doesn't have the biggest amount of kitchen space. So every little extra inch that you can snag, uh, I welcome. You know, I think it's a good, good addition. And a back and a side splash. Hey, modern RV designers, can you pay attention, please, and go back to putting side splashes and not just back splashes around ovens? Uh, you know, folks, when you comment on stuff like that, you're not the only one that feels that way. And I hear a hundred different reasons. Of, oh, for production and this and that and the other thing. It just, just get it done. New RV builders, please just get it done. Dinette sofa, of course, can fold down into extra sleeping spaces. Again, trying to be fair and point out 
defects for what little I've been able to find on this RV. There's just a couple areas like this where some humidity has caused a little bit of crinkling on the wallpaper. But again, considering the age, the budget, I mean, the, the original microwave is working on this thing. You just couldn't ask, I think, reasonably, anyway, for this old RV to be in really any better shape than it is. I mean, there's, there, I haven't, there's not leaks. All the original wall panels are in place. I actually, on these older RVs, um, you may not realize it, but before I start recording this footage, I'll walk through it, and I will look at that wall paneling in the bedroom, in the bathroom, versus that wall paneling. I want to make sure they all match so that I can detect if there's been a leak. It's one of the things I look for. And there's a pro tip from your Uncle Josh, RV nerd. If you're used RV shopping, compare the wall panels room to room, ceiling panels room to room. It makes sure they match. If they don't match, ask why. Maybe there's a perfectly good reason. Maybe not. Maybe you need to know little stuff like that. I've got a penchant for missing bathrooms. I almost just walked past this one. I want to make sure I point that out for you real quick before we move on to the uh, bedroom space here. Now that looks like a cabinet. It's not, but there is storage behind that. We'll get to that in just a second, but first the uh, bedroom space here. And here's the other things I look for on a used RV. We didn't do this. The folks for whom we are selling this RV made the bed. And that sounds like a stupid, trivial thing to point out. But, ladies and gentlemen, to give you a comparison, we took in a used fifth wheel on trade down at Haylet RV one mile down the street this morning, and the previous owners couldn't have been bothered to even empty the black holding tank. And here we have an RV where somebody took the time to make the bed. When you see things like that, it's an indicator of how well an RV was maintained, how much TLC went into it, how much did the people care. And these people cared. They cared a lot. Now, I told you, there's extra storage kind of behind that uh, toilet space, but that's not all. So if you take note, you've actually got quite a bit more closet space than is initially noticed. And uh, some good dresser space down here uh, as well. There's actually dual dresser drawers. That lower one's just a little tricky to get to on camera. But we're not quite done. We've got another big closet over here. And this RV, uh, Blast from the Past, has a prehistoric entertainment system. Look, look at this guy. Look at this itty bitty little Emerson TV VHS all in one. Looks like it's nomin on the uh, TV remote over here. I uh, I don't know that that's probably the uh, primary entertainment system you're going to go with, but it is kind of cool to see it. But the good news doesn't just stop inside. This thing is, it's just been well kept. Now, again, if I'm being picky, like where it says Georgie Boy Pursuit on the nose, on the little hood area, uh, yeah, the, the decals there are a little weathered, but They've also been largely scrubbed clean. So this RV has been cleaned with regularity. It has been sealed, maintained, upkept with regularity. Um, there's two baggage doors over here that have a T-handle holdback that has just kind of given up the ghost over time. Again, those are those 50 cent fixes I was telling you about. Uh, the tires, oh my gosh, guys. At the time of this filming, it is uh, today it is September 12th at 10.32 p.m. These tires have been on this RV for maybe, maybe 18 hours. They were put on the RV yesterday, just before the RV was listed. All six brand new Firestone tires. It doesn't, it doesn't get much better than that. I don't, if you don't know how much tires for RVs cost, call Bell Tire or whoever and look it up. Those ain't cheap. That's a ton of money right there that you don't have to worry about, like, for a long time. <laughs> The baggage compartments are clean. There's, uh, you know, there's not signs of like where they just threw cargo in here and scuff stuff around. Now, since it is a gasser, it does have the drive shaft that goes through the middle. But if you notice, there are the kind of over-the-hump pass-through compartments, and uh, th those are good for like picnic tables or folding chairs. Oh no, fifty cents. <laughs> Our sewer station over here. I mean, even this is like in, you know order basically <laughs> it's everything on here looks good i love the little mud dauber screen keeping the bugs out of there more of those fresh tires let me just give you a, a up close look at the decals here like i said it, is it a weathered a little bit yes but given the age of the rv 
I don't know if I could be much happier with this. Like the paint on the skirt, it's not all peeled, flaking, faded. All of the the handles, great mechanical working order. I was, again, you can tell, I was very genuinely impressed with this RV. You know, I do a ton of these RV tours. I do several per day. I don't know of anyone else that does the number of RV video tours that we do at Haylet RV. New, used, every single thing that rolls through, I've got the camera to it. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie. I get very numb to these things. I get very kind of burned out. I zone out. And when I see one like this, it just really catches my attention. Now, uh, I also hope you appreciate the effort. It is not easy trying to find a little spot to stuff and rig up a camera inside a little compartment like this to get you that generator footage. So, hope you appreciate that. If you appreciate the effort we go to here at Halo RV, make sure you hit that little subscribe button and follow along because we've always got new things coming out. Like I said, generally to the tune of at least one, if not several per day. I've had up to 20 videos in one afternoon before. We'll get up on the roof before we're done. You might have noticed the... Uh, window awnings giving you that good rainy day airflow and this is a triple jowlessy no that's a quad Ooh, quadruple jowlessy window if you don't know what that means well, sometimes people call them jealousy windows not exactly correct they tilt open but it's not one tilt open panel it's four to really maximize your airflow in here and we'll sweep down this side to give you a look at the rest of the uh, outside storage compartments before hopping upstairs and once again i can't find problems i can't find damage i can't find issues onboard propane system here looking once again pretty darn good for the age Ooh, horseshoe here's a little random fact for you this is a horse uh community superstition if you mount something like a horseshoe on the wall ideally you want to mount it up like this because it catches the good luck if you mount it upside down like that then you're spilling out your good luck that's kind of some horse voodoo black magic, if you will. <laughs> now you know. Power step, I just, you know, have the door closed, so it's got itself retracted, but it was working fine for me. Everything on this RV looks to be in good working order. The awning material, I believe, has been replaced uh, within the last couple of years. It looks fantastic. The whole RV just <laughs> looking great. And at worst, the roof needs a quick spot cleaning. It's about the worst I can say. I mean, you can see where the seals have been upkept. And anytime you're looking at an RV, frankly of any age, but especially of this age, I do recommend a, uh, a more attentive um, maintenance and care and upkeep plan. Like all these seals, make sure you're checking those instead of like, you know, once a season, twice, maybe three times. Just get up here, peek around, and frankly, it wouldn't hurt you to do some wash and conditioner on the roof every now and then anyway. This is a laminated roof around, by the way, and it is just solid as a rock. There's not a soft spot up here, meaning it hasn't had leaks and problems. Because if this laminated roof had been water exposed, there'd be squish parts of it, none of which is present. You see the roof vent covers over the bathroom there, both the toilet as well as the kind of shower compartment. And again, dual air conditioning. They're both low profile, which helps keep the overall height of this RV down a little bit as compared to a, a taller air unit like you see on some of those things over there. Actually, I think the Max Air Covers are the tallest thing on the coach, other than of that, that radio antenna, which, you know, spring-loaded, whips in the wind, will bend down if you have to go under something. Just, you know, don't go 65 miles an hour and clip it. Anyway, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I think this is going to make somebody very happy. And actually, I think this might actually be a decent option for a first-timer, just because it is in such mechanically good condition. It'd be a very good way to get into RVing, learn about it, maybe see what you uh, might have to, you know, learn. Uh, I, I, I'm just repeating myself. I'm rambling. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> so give us a call. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone. Hmm. Hmm. I believe that scent is uh, Triceratops, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs>